Welcome to track number seven of Obedience Unto Death. Are you sure the Lord is speaking to you? What's the Lord saying to you? Leo, stand up, tell us what's the Lord saying to you. This is your third camp. Oh, your third camp in the UK? Only? No, so you, no. I mean, I mean with me. With oh, okay, okay. All out. Kenwa and this one. Since then, I have sort of thought about the whole thing and my walk with God. And I do know that certainly um, God is saying something to me about giving myself fully uh, to his work. Um, In my heart it's settled. I am a full-time priest of God. I think it's the practicalities that is to follow. And I believe God has spoken to me again on that issue today. Wow. It's great, isn't it? It's cricket. Huh? It's cricket. Flowing high. That means natural. God is great. What do you think? You see, God has a practical plan. There's a saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Think about us. How impossible it is for us to go to some of these places. And yet we are going. You know? When David showed me the pictures of his church members in Jamaica. All Jamaicans. Huh? I said, wow. It looks so weird when we were beginning. Do you see? Yeah. Huh? Jamaica. And the places are more mulliganos than you can imagine. Mulliganos plus, plus, plus. Three pluses. You know, in medicine, when you, when you want to write something to show how severe it is, like if it's anemia, we write in the notes, you write anemia, then you write on top, when you write anemia, then you write on top there, plus. Then when it's more severe, write anemia, plus, plus. Then when it's very severe, you write anemia, plus, plus, plus. So when I say mulliganos, plus, plus, plus. Zimbo. Now the Lord is good. The Lord is near. Is there a song like that? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct, he shall, he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not of your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. i 
decided in your heart something for the Lord and it's not just sympathizing with the idea the Lord himself will make a way Amen. Amen. many are called that's what they call it here many are called plenty if you think just one or two people are called you are deceived many are called hallelujah Hallelujah. So as you have decided in your heart, God himself, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way. Chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. All right. That's a wedding message. But in Genesis chapter 3, 
Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. <laughs> now Genesis chapter 3. Yea, have God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not die. For God doth know in the day that ye eat, your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God's knowing good and evil. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many things, you get it, which are, what do you think? Very attractive, nice sounding. When the woman saw that the tree was good, and it was pleasant to the eyes, a tree to be desired, she took out the fruit thereof, and did eat. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did it. And the eyes of both of them were opened. Huh? What do you think? And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden. In the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves. From the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. The Lord God called. Adam where art thou? And he said I heard thy voice. In the garden I was afraid because I was naked. And he said who told me that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, the woman, notice, has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Do you see? In other words, have you disobeyed? Hallelujah. Charlie, problems that are about to start, it's not a simple thing. Huh? Your paradise is lost by your disobedience. You will lose your paradise. The paradise of your life on this earth by disobeying God. Do you see? Verse 22. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. Now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground where he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Wow. Walking in disobedience will make you lose your paradise. Huh? Paradise lost. The problems that came to the woman. Huh? Curses. The problems that came to the man. Suffering. You see. Because they disobeyed. The voice of the Lord. What do you think? Is it sad? Very sad, isn't it? Okay. Are you there? Wonderful. Wonderful. 
But in Revelations chapter 22, you see a very powerful revelation there. Verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Okay? That they may have a right to the tree of life. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Wow. You re-enter paradise by obeying the commandments of the Lord. And you are sacked from paradise by disobeying God. And by your disobedience to God. You lose your right to enter and to live in happiness, in tranquility, in peace, in joy, in happiness. And even life itself is taken away from you. But the Bible says, blessed are they that keep his commandments. For they shall eat of the tree of life and they shall enter in through the gates. The gate that they put that angel cherubim with the flaming sword to sack people like Adam and sack Eve and all bad disobedient people. That gate has been reopened. Hallelujah. To welcome the obedient ones, the sons of obedience. And the children of obedience. How many want to enter into obedience so that you may enter back through the gates? And I want to say something to you that, in a certain sense, even on this earth, there is a certain paradise in which you live. Do you see? When you obey God. And there is a certain kind of paradise which you lose when you disobey God. Even if you think of your life, Those two are the back of the camp. Natasha and uh, Buki. And uh, Amma. And then at the end there. Who is this? Huh? Come. Linda. Yeah, come. Linda Lynn or Linda? Linda Lynn. Come this way. Just come here. Haruna, come. Stand here. And stand here. You are going to be her boyfriend. Forgive. <laughs> going to take her as a girlfriend. And just, just go and become her boyfriend. No, not this one, this one. Not this one, this one. You can sleep with her, you can do everything. <laughs> okay. Now, now you can suck her. Come. Go for another girlfriend. <laughs> okay. You can sleep with her. You can do everything. Now, suck her. So these are two broken hearted girls. Broken hearted. Paradise lost. Take another girlfriend. You can sleep with her, impregnate her, take her for abortions, everything. Now she has gone to abortion clinic. She has come, she is bleeding. There's the third abortion with her. Now suck her. Go for your last girlfriend. But before you go, go to the toilet and examine yourself. There's a certain discharge coming from there. <laughs> 
Okay. Have you examined it? All right. Now come for her. You can sleep with her. Do everything you want to do with her. Now suck her. Now, what I didn't tell you is that the last one is HIV positive. (laughs) Okay. He chases also chase them one by one. (laughs) You can sleep with her, do everything. You can have two at a time. Go for another one. You can sleep with them, do everything. Impregnate one. Abortion with another. Now suck them. Go to the corner. Go for two more. That's the HIV one. But she's the most sexually, you know, she really you know, titillating. You may sleep with her every day. Every day. Now you can stop them. All right. Now you are HIV positive. This man has started to have diarrhea. You see that he has lost weight. Now, because these ones have been sleeping with different ones, he has also now got the HIV. So I've got the HIV. She also has the HIV. And these three are broken hearted. Do you see? Compare that huh, with these humble sisters here who are just in the church. Do you understand? You, when you compare the two worlds, you realize that this is a, a world hustling, frightening life. Your, li- even your life teeters between life and death on a constant basis. And all kinds of realms and things compared with these people who are just humble sitting in the church, they're coolie. As soon as you start to obey God, eh, you start to move out of the place towards paradise. Blessed are they that obey the commandments of God. And in many ways, we are saved from so many things. We don't even know. It's a completely different life. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. As soon as you start to disobey God, you move into things that, oh, Bible says, and he wasted his substance on riotous living. And he began to be in want. And no man gave unto him. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into the field to feed swine. And no man gave unto him. Look at the life that these ones have. Hustle. And some of you, you've been in the world. You know what I'm talking about. (laughs) 
Pastor, have you been in the world before? Hey, Bishop, I've been in the world before. Drinking and... I mean, my nickname alone... What was your nickname? Wasaga. They used to call me Segar. So it means when they call me Segar, it means it's drinking time. So, Bishop, we used to drink like Saturday night. We moved to the West End from one club to another. Slap Paris. We used to stay at Slap Paris Friday night. We'll go there and then Saturday night we'll be there. Then Sunday night we'll go to the same place. Just drinking. We'll drink and drink and drink and drink. And one day I went to Milton Keynes to visit a friend. He had beer up to nearly the yeah, the silly. We drank all of it before. <laughs> It's true. We've done things. It's true. And like Bishop is saying, we could have done anything else because like some of our friends, we see them and they've been in drugs and other things and you realize that it's only being in Christ that has made us different from them because we would have entered drugs and taken off to another place. You say your friend was in a prison. Yeah, he was in a prison in Venezuela for about six years. Which friend is that? I mean, where, where did you know him? In oh, from day? school. From school, we're from all in drinking. In fancy, yeah, we came here. We used to meet, drinking sometimes, and he was just a busy person. I used to know him, Pastor Haruna and Pastor Chris. We were all in a like a syndicated group, group big group. Yeah. Haruna, were you in this drinking syndicate? Oh, Bishop. <laughs> Oh, I've done I've done some bad things, Bishop. Um, oh, I mean, the drinking and all those things we have done all, you know. <laughs> the women, the women, you know. I mean, I just asked you, asked you, you, you called me and you, and you <laughs> and you asked me to pick a girlfriend. I just remembered that. In 1992, at the point, I had three girlfriends going at the same time. And I just said, wow. This is, I mean, and when he said that, I've got HIV, and it just occurred to me that if I had continued that life, I mean, I could, that's where I, that's where I would have ended. You had three different people that you slept Oh, they, they just playing, you know. Schedule them, and they come, and they come, and they you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keeping them. And it could have, I mean, just, just the illustration alone. Yeah. You know what, I mean, it could have just happened like that. It just occurred to me. Stay that way. I'd have ended up. Yeah. See, that's the question. You see, you have to know you could easily. 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 You just be positive. Just one, one juice that enters you. One cut, one scratch. In fact, Bishop, I think when I was going to get married to um, Antina, and we went for counseling. It was Reverend Obi and Reverend Ayi, and then when we sat down, um, Reverend Ayi asked Antina, "Have you had any man before?" She said, "No." She was a virgin. Then he asked me quickly. Then. I said, the Reverend threw me and she got up and Reverend calmed her down. So he said, <laughs> okay. So Bishop Reverend explained to me beloved counseling and everything. Then he said, I have to go and do HIV test. And if I went and got up from the bed. <laughs> I wanted to leave the church. I said, <laughs> so, if I go and it's positive, then it means I've lost the beloved. And it's like the thing to, how, how do I carry on with life? But I believe God and I said, I'll go. So, I went. The, the, the guy counseling me, when you go, they give you counseling before they make you do it. The guy said, are you sure you want to do it? Because when you do it, I said to him, my friend, I have met a lady I want to marry and I need this thing to go and... <laughs> Just do it. 
just do it. So he did it. Then he told me that I should come on the Tuesday. So when you when you go in there, everybody is seated and you are there. It's not easy. I tell you, it's not easy. Especially if you've been out there before and then, so they come and they call you one after the other. So he came, he called me, Mr. Amponsa. Then he said, I should follow him into a room. Okay. He's going to tell me the results. And as I was full, I wanted to run away. Bishop, <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, Paradise lost. Paradise lost. So, I go in there, he said to me, I should sit down. Then he also sat down. Then the, the envelope is sealed, everything. So he opened it slowly. Then he took it out. He read the thing for some time. I was looking at the expression on his face before. But then he told me that, oh, he said to me, it's negative. So I said, is he sure? He said, it's negative. I said that, okay, the paper, I need it because I need to go and prove myself something. <laughs> So he gave it to me and then I brought it to church. But I was very, very, I mean, I was relieved from that day. In fact, when I was supposed to go for the eight, I, I said to myself that, if I said to my beloved that, I wish I had never, ever, ever seen anybody in my life. I mean, it, it's like real life is lying ahead of you now. What about if you go? She asked me. So if you go and it's positive, what do you do? As I was walking, I said, wow. In fact, you can pay a price that you don't plan for. Mercy. 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 Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> so wild. In fact, life, the life that you live as a son of disobedience is the life outside paradise. Mm. Yes. Because those of you who know about sex, what is it? Three minutes of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom! It's finished. What is that? Because of that, you are dead. Huh? Oh, you don't understand my message. Wow. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Somebody was telling me he was he saw a somebody wearing a T shirt and they are written on the T shirt Sex In Out In Out In Out In or out. <laughs> that you are defining. What is it? In, out, in, out, in, out, in. Or out. I don't know which is out or in. Forgive. Mercy. Paradise lost. Paradise regained. Blessed are they that keep the commandment of the For they shall eat of the tree of life. And they shall enter in through the gates. I see you entering in through the gates. Yeah. Will you enter? And you see, I'm just using this life for you to get a feeling eh, of what it is like. And the kind of life whether it, 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 it extrapolates into other things. But when you are in Christ, there's some peace. Yeah. Do you see? You don't have to do HIV tests. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Smoking. When I say that, look, the things that smoking causes, that smoking seems to cause so many sicknesses. And alcohol. And it's like, it's not even... Something that, when you follow the Lord for some time, it's not even something that you are tempted. Do you see? You are saved, though. Pastor Paul, come. Were you, did you lose paradise? Yes, Bishop, I did. 
Tell us what it was like. Then, well, I, <laughs> Bishop. Then you would think that it's you know it's something that you are doing that it's you know you're on you're on, to, you're on top you know with the guys you're going out to nightclubs. You used to go to nightclubs. Bishop, on top of that, I was a DJ in a nightclub. Wait, <laughs> Hey, hey, mo boy. <laughs> Macbeth said, "There is no art to find the mind's, mind's construction, construction in the face." Oh, looky like a DJ. <laughs> uh huh. So my life was riotous living. I mean, Friday through to Sunday would be night clubbing, girlfriends. I didn't like alcohol so much, but once in a while I'd drink. I didn't like smoking. My father worked in Pania Tobacco Company, and cigarettes were abounding in my house anytime. So I actually used to give cigarettes to people. <laughs> when I used to go to secondary <laughs> Huh? When you used to go to secondary school? Yeah, when I used to go to secondary school, I had more cigarettes than Gary. <laughs> and I just give. <laughs> I just give. <laughs> You're a distributor of cigarettes. A distributor. They said distributor of cigarettes. But my chop box where I kept the cigarettes was always open because otherwise they'll break it. So they know that in my box there's always cigarettes there. And all those bad things. Which school did you go to? St. Augustine School <laughs> in Cape Coast. <laughs> you were the senior prefect. They couldn't see the evil. That's why they made you the senior prefect. Distributor of cigarettes in the school. Uh huh. And what else were you doing? Um, so I had girlfriends, but more than one at any point in time. Um, like you are running to, you share some of your spams to this one, you give some to this one, you bring some of the juices from here, and you put it in this one. <laughs> Hey, a mo boy. Christ, eh? the love he has for us is too much. It's very high. I mean, look at these guys who are some of the main pastors we have. How bad they were. The Lord, the Lord is gracious. To us, that's why I think God sent you to us because He realized that we would have destroyed people's lives and our own lives as well. And our own lives as well. Wow, why did He say, Why would be so set free? Why, why did He set someone like this? Why, so wonder. Ready, ready, ready. 
salvation. Do you want to die for him too? Do you love your Jesus? Save us to show his love. Come on. When you see this man, eh, it shows the power of God, the glory of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God. Yeah. He's a pastor, he's a preacher, he's married, he's normal. Yeah. He speaks the word. He's willing to serve God. He preached to prisoners in England. It shows the glory of God. When you see this man, a very bad person, saved by the blood, it shows the glory of God and the power of God. What his father could not do, what his mother could not do what police could not do what prison could not do the power of God was able to do when you see this man a very bad person eh? with multiple girlfriends at the same time three at a time he scheduled them for appointment sexual appointment and lies to all of them each of them thinks that each of them thinks that she's the only one is able to remove their panties and have intercourse with them and you see that today is pastor richard's right hand man over here my brother i tell you it shows the power of god it shows the glory and the love and the mercy of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, I don't know what it means to you, but me, it means everything to me. It means so much. All you needed to do is to die just before you were saved. All you needed to do was to die just before. When these three doctors died, the nurses, they are very bad. They were saying among themselves, which means, is this, there were three doctors who died. Is this one who doesn't know God among the three who died? Because when they are working with them, they know those who know God and those who don't know God. And they were pointing to one of them. Say, Menepe, this one, he didn't know God. By his mercy, mercy, so die before you know God and everybody knows that you don't know God mm. I almost drowned in Labadi one day I know what it's like to drown because I've been there when the next breath was going to be water and then and it, about to drink it. 
into your lungs. But I came up. So later when I got saved, that was the only day I remembered. I remember that day in the beach. In the water. When I was alone. And I remember my priest told me, pray our father once. And Hail Mary three times. And you go to heaven. And as I was there, I began to say that our father in the water. Because I knew that I was dying. I was going. I was going. I was going. I was going. Bye bye. Straight to hell. Mm. Then he saved me. Huh? Do you understand? Doesn't mean much to you, you see. It means everything to me. Ish. Why wouldn't I serve him? Why wouldn't I tell somebody else also? My life. Why would I give something less? And the greatest thing that I have had for my life. You can't pay me for it. Pay for what? It means everything to me. It means everything to me. He saved us. To show his he saved a half caste from a type of family. best friend when I was young I used to play with him he came to me and he, he took off his trousers he said dad look and he put on he said I have these big lumps he said I'm HIV positive I played with him school Achimota school primary school we went riding together we played together he's the same color his father is a girl man. My father is a girl man. His mother is from Austria. My mother is from Switzerland. And I look at me and said, I'm that. One day I was dropping him on the road. I said, this place is dangerous. He said, me, dangerous? He said, I'm a dead dog. I'm dead. I'm dead. And look at me. As if I'm special. That's why I always pray for him. And I look after him. Because I see that it's me. It's me. I see that it's me. It's me. A dead rabbit. Christ who saved me. And use me. Send me. It means a lot to me. I don't know about you. That's why I look after him, I tell you. I feel so sad. It's me. I'm the one. I'm, I'm the dead animal that has been saved. I see without Christ what will be of me. My friend the same color, same class, same age, same background, identical. He saved me to show His glory and to show His love, His power to the nations, to the world. God help me. God help us. Saved us. Why did he save me? Paradise was lost. Paradise came back. Blessed are they that keep the commandments of the Lord.
salvation is too precious. Salvation. Not, don't think about being called. Don't have your call. What is calling? Salvation. Salvation. Do you understand? Salvation. Don't think about I mean something higher than that. Just the salvation is enough. It's enough. Salvation. God has got everybody one here has somebody just like you who did they make it you have him he's a picture she's a picture for you always to remember that's you without the grace of God somehow and you don't even know why you believe I mean I don't know how you understand nobody would like to kill me I'm dead already it's a blessing I want to serve him I tell you I'm desperate I'm desperate to love I don't know how long more I will live I don't know maybe you know you are going to live for to be 100 or something but I don't know how long I'm going to live that's why I'm in a hurry to serve him honestly I don't want to lie to you I'm in a hurry to serve him to love him I'll, not, I'll never get this chance again to prove that I love him and that I'm thankful yeah. that's why my favorite worship leader is now Tommy Walker because he sings about salvation all these songs are about salvation Most of the church have forgotten what salvation is and what it means and how even we came to be saved. Oh, amen. Sit down. <laughs>